I want to take you on a journey. It's a journey like no other, a journey out there. Look up at the night sky. What do you see? The planets, the stars, a million points of light. You're looking at your universe. This series will take you there. We'll experience firsthand the wonders of the universe, its power and its danger. And to take a closer look, we'll even bring space down here to Earth. We'll seek out alien life. Witness the birth of new worlds. And we'll discover why what happens out there in space affects all of us here on the one small planet we call our home. We'll take you from the beginning of time to the far future of humanity. This is the voyage of a lifetime. This is the voyage into space. We begin with the big question, where did we come from? Aliens. Aliens. What would you think if I told you that you, me, everyone came from outer space? Weird though it sounds, it's true. We're all aliens. Once upon a time, every single thing that makes us what we are came from the stars. We live in a small corner of the universe. This is our neighborhood, the solar system. At its center, the sun. And just 150 million kilometers away is our home, the Earth. It's an astonishing planet. The only place we know of in the whole universe where conditions are right for life. The air we breathe. Rich seas and oceans. Our planet is alive. And what's remarkable is, it shouldn't be. Life on Earth shouldn't even exist. So where did it all come from? Me, you, the planet we live on, even our sun. It's a puzzle because at the beginning, none of it was here. Let me show you what I mean. This is the moment it all started, the Big Bang. And that was it. The Big Bang created the universe, but a universe containing only a vast cloud of hydrogen gas. So how did something so featureless create our world? And how did it create us? If you're a gambler, then this is the planet to live on. Because just by being here, we're all taking a risk. 
and the odds are stacked against us. Do you feel lucky? You should do. You may not realize it, but we are all winners. We human beings are incredibly lucky to be here because the universe keeps trying to wipe us out. Trying and failing. We have survived every disaster the universe has ever thrown at us so far. Our run of luck won't last forever. When it ends, our planet and our entire species will cease to exist. Unless we can do something about it. Could our whole planet really be in danger? What could threaten a globe 13,000 kilometers across or six billion people? To understand the threat, you have to see it firsthand. I want to show you planet Earth as it was in its earliest days. This is where it all begins. We're lucky there's even a planet here for us to live on because it was very nearly blown apart before life had even begun. This is planet Earth, billions of years ago, at the very beginning of its life. As you can see, it is under attack. These are asteroids, rocks left over from the creation of the planets themselves. Some of them were vast, and one of them was on a collision course with Earth. This collision nearly smashed our Earth to pieces. We were hit by a ball of molten rock the size of Mars, traveling at colossal speed. The impact ripped huge chunks out of our planet. Somehow, it survived. But what about the future? Smaller chunks of rock are still flying around our solar system today. We call them asteroids. And they could put an end to human civilization. There's an old saying, what goes up must come down. The thing is, it's not always true. If you throw something hard enough, it might never come down. If something goes up fast enough, it can escape the Earth altogether. Faster still, and it can escape the immense pull of our sun, the force that holds the planets in place.